Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Well, at least some of us in the Commonwealth got lucky to see the partial solar eclipse today. This is a video taken by Josh Durkee in Bowling Green. This is pretty impressive. Uh, a picture of you here, a video of that partial solar eclipse, and it just looks like something took a bite out of the sun. This is the actual sun, so what's happening is the moon is moving over part of the sun and blocking at least a chunk of it. So the clouds did break apart enough in the Bowling Green area to see this really nice video. Unfortunately, here we didn't get much in the way of those breaks to see it. Again, we have that next one coming up in April. That one's going to be even cooler, so hopefully the weather uh, does stay clear. Here is a live look outside. It is not clear at this moment. A lot of clouds out there, even a couple of spotty showers across the viewing area. 55 degrees is that current temperature, and that's actually the coolest we've been all day today, but we have been stuck in the 50s most of the day. Right now, the wind is out of the north at 10, still a bit breezy, and it will stay that way through tonight. Today's high temperature was 67, but that happened at midnight. So most of the daytime hours, we've been stuck in the upper 50s to near 60, and right now we're 55, so that's our coolest uh, temperature uh, for the day so far, and that's occurring right now. Speaking of those high temperatures over the next uh, several days, below average, especially through Tuesday, by Wednesday we start to see those temperatures climbing back close to average and then slightly above average Thursday, but then we go back down the hill late in the week. So it's that time of year where we could still get some warm-ups, but they're short-lived. Uh, so we're going to be uh, keeping an eye on that cooler fall weather moving in. It's statistically going to get cooler over the next several weeks. Uh, temperatures out the door in the low and mid 50s, so a cool night out there. A couple spots could drop down into the upper 40s tonight, but we are just socked in with the clouds. A good portion of the central and eastern U.S. dealing with cloud cover at this hour and just a couple of spotty showers. Most of us dry right now, especially Louisville North, but there are a couple of showers. If you look closely, you can see that little bit of a green line sliding south toward E-Town, toward Hardensburg, and just pushing through Bardstown. So those will continue sliding south out of the viewing area overnight tonight. Then we'll just be dry and cloudy and a little bit breezy tonight. Temperatures down to right around 50. But as I mentioned, a couple spots could drop into the upper 40s, especially across uh, southern Indiana. Tomorrow, just like today, a lot of clouds. A breezy day and temperatures only in the upper 50s. Could there be a spotty shower? It's possible, but most of us should stay dry for your Sunday. And then it's Sunday night when our next best chance for showers will return. Tomorrow's highs, mid to upper 50s across the entire viewing area. Futurecast keeps us dry tonight, just cloudy. We're dry through most of tomorrow with perhaps a spotty afternoon or evening shower tomorrow. But it's tomorrow night when we're expecting another little weak low pressure to roll through. That could bring us some widespread scattered showers Sunday night and into early Monday morning. And it stays quite cool on Monday as well. Here's that seven day forecast. Tuesday and Wednesday, we start to brighten the sky a little bit. Temperatures climbing slightly. We don't go above average until Thursday and it doesn't last. Another cold front arrives Thursday night into Friday with a chance for some more showers. So next weekend, we're back into the 60s. Another cool weekend coming up. <laughs> so you know what? There's yeah, going to be a lot of trunk or treats. We're going to have a lot of happy parents Absolutely. and kids. And a lot of outdoor activities, and people want it feeling like fall when they're out there. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks.